Hey there, this is Pat, and today I'm going to see Jerry Newman again and checking out his high boy prowler. Okay, while well, I'm coming here, I'm almost at uh, Jerry's place. I'm also going to meet up with Dr. Rue. He's uh, the person who did all the pinstriping on all the prowlers back when they had the uh, Woodward and Black Tie and Mulholland Blue version. So he's going to do the pinstriping on uh, Jerry's car. So I'm hoping to meet him as well here today. Hey, Jer. Yeah, what's up, How buddy? you doing? I'm doing good. Good to see you. Good to see you. This looks great. Yeah, yeah I'm just starting to get her striped up. Okay, yeah. So this is the famous Dr. Rue? No, uh, this is just Rue. <laughs> Hey, don't talk to me. Stripe, for God's sake, you'll zigzag it all over. Oh, uh, well. I can walk and chew gum at the same time, surprisingly enough. Oh, you've done it enough, eh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Now, yeah, just talking to him about his original speakers. You still got original speakers on your car? Yes, I do. Uh, you know what they look like once you get down to them? Let me take a look at it. See where it's the materials just eight in the way? Yeah. I just took them out of this one yesterday. Really? And I replaced my other car a couple years ago. And this way, if you want to do it, this is what you replace them with. Okay. The dash and the back ones. Okay. So you need four of these, two in the dash and then two in the back panel. Oh, wow, okay. All right, I'll keep that in mind. The back panel, you got to do some modification to get them to drop in. If you got a drum all tool, you got yeah. to, let's say, hack away at where these go down in because you need room for where the wires and everything because the new ones, the magnets are huge and thicker. So they won't fit? They won't fit unless you take a drywall tool and just hack the hack oh. out of it. But then you cover it up. Oh, okay. And then what year's yours? You got 2000. that cover? 2000. 2000. Okay, yeah, you'll have that cover. Then. Okay. That will yeah, I know, yeah, I know the older the ones way. didn't actually even have a cover properly over the... They were different Or they were different. Setup, right? Different, yeah. Okay. I think in 98 and a half when they switched it out okay. in the 99. Okay, so partway through the 99? Yeah. Okay. And obviously the door ones are just like that. Okay. Eaten away. Okay. Yeah, this one was so bad you could barely hear the music. Really? Okay. So I knew I was going to replace them while I was finishing it up. Okay. Yeah, that's something I'm thinking about mine at some point. They're still okay. They're not great. Well, yeah, yeah. once you replace them, you'll say, why? I never knew they were that bad. Yeah, Especially exactly. Especially you take them out, they're going to be just like that, and you wonder how you could get any music out of them. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go with the beige and a red striping on this. Okay. Wow. That is the steadiest hand I've ever seen to be able to do that without any without any tape, without anything else. To, right. That's just, I was watching this and I'm just like, oh my God. Okay, you did thousands of prowlers, let alone tens of thousands of other cars. Yeah. 2,222. Uh, oh, prowlers, okay, 2,200. 2,222. Now you did my other car, the Did Inca Golds, Black Ties, and Woodward's. The Inca Golds also had that done? Yeah, uh, yeah. they had a two-tone stripe with an arrowhead, two-tone yellow. Okay, I didn't, I, I always thought it was just the three, the Mahalan no. and the two, two tones. Ah, no. oh, okay, no. Look at no, the gold one. The uh, woodwork, black tie, Mulholland, and the Inca Gold card. Okay. Which is one of my unfavorite colors. Which one? The gold. Oh, yeah, yeah it, it wasn't real high. Don't pay, people be pissed. Yeah, well, it Protesting was. It, that, was that was on the uh, PT Cruiser. When they brought that car into the plant that day, um, I was in the shipping area striping uh, the Mulholland cars, and I just shook my head and said, I can't believe it, because they were all jumping up and down like this. Oh, on the PT when you saw pull in. And oh, and they were all just going crazy, and I thought, no, please don't do this. Yeah, and I'm not sure into enough. I, that gold color just didn't do nothing for me. Yeah. Well, it did. It actually made me a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that, that's news to me. I didn't realize that one had it, but that wasn't a real popular color. No. I mean, it was only the one model year. Well, it was the last model year. Yeah, 02. Um, but it was also, I mean, I don't know how much, I don't know the numbers. I'll have to look it up. 616. But, um, there were 616 gold? 1616. Oh, okay. Believe That's me, more I, than I thought. Believe me, I know the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than I thought. I, I didn't realize. Every one of them. He sees the invoice, how many build them for. <laughs> Believe oh. me, I've got the invoices and the VIN numbers. I know exactly okay. how many cars I did. Okay. So a question for you, uh, Jerry. So why do they call this a high boy? 
I mean, where do they Just get the, the term? Just open wheel look of the cars out of the after the wars in the fifties. Uh, oh, okay. Is coops. that okay? Is that how they got the term? Yeah, removing the fenders from okay. them, stripping them down, get the weight off of them. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so who actually did the? I mean, actually, the obviously the most work obviously is redoing the whole. Rear quarter, rear quarter panels, panels and the yeah. rear belly panels yeah. replaced. Okay, so who did that? Uh, I did. You did it yourself? Yeah. Okay. A, yeah, you might have some pictures of that. Oh, that, well, I saw the pictures, thing. but I didn't know if you actually the one who did the work. Yeah. Okay. I sent the car out to a buddy of mine to paint once I modified the whole body. And okay. And then he had to strip the whole paint off. You'll see in a video. Well, maybe. yeah. Okay. He used like a putty knife just to take the paint off because it was poorly applied. It okay. was a flip-flop type paint job. Yeah, I saw that in the original photos. It, yeah. At first I thought it was just a purple, but then the more I looked at it, I realized that it was actually... You're right. I think it was the flip-flop paint yeah. as I was looking at it because I could kind of see a difference in the colors there. So. And that guy didn't know what he was doing. That paint it that color, so the paint never set up properly. Oh. And it was just flaking off. You could take your fingernail and scrape it off. So really? poorly was putting on. So I knew wow. I was going to have to strip the car down to the bare body and then mm -hmm. get it redone. This car originally was black. Okay. Oh, it was? Okay, yeah, so this was originally black. The firewall, the dash will be black. Okay. Okay. So it's got, so was this a, so being a black, it was a 2000 then, right? 99. This is a 99 because it's, yeah, it's got the, um, it's got the chrome bezel. Or did you put that uh, in? Yeah, I've come across them before. Okay, so you added it after the fact? Yes. Okay. I took off one of my other cars. Yeah, unfortunately, I like to use that as a way to tell what year it is, but then people do that. Uh -huh. They swap it out and or you can't the tell. Mirror, I think well, actually, well, let me look at the mirror. Okay, yeah, the mirror is. Doesn't have the temp or doesn't the have, if it doesn't have that, that's harder to change out, so that's a better giveaway yeah. as to which year it is. So. so the flat black idea. Oh, this is nice here. Actually, I didn't even see that he started that yet. That looks nice. The, uh, we got the LED lights back there. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can turn those on. Oh, those are nice. But you don't have the okay, so that's signals. Okay. So you've got the hazards on right now? Yes. Okay. So half of it will blink when it's turn signal? Yes. Okay. That is cool. You got now, the, the upper brake light's gone. Yes. Took that um, off. Took that out. got the holes filled in. Okay. I just want to have more of a clean look on it. Okay. Well, obviously, the original Hot Rides never would have had a third brake light up there either. So, <laughs> that kind of helps that. Now, obviously, without any fenders or anything on here, I mean, again, the flat black will help maybe with rock chips a little bit, right? Is that kind of the reason, so, yeah. is that kind of reason why you decided to paint it this color? Or is this just more just of a traditional? Just to make it look old school. More old school? Like okay. I can't afford a paint job. Yeah. Well, it, it looks very nice for a flat black. Because basically what they do, they still paint it black, but it's a clear coat that goes on it. It's a matted black clear coat. That's okay. That's applied to make it look flat instead of putting a high gloss clear on it. Okay. So it's still the same process. Okay. And who did the, um, do you add the portholes into the, into the quarter panel there? Them panels came off of a Mulholland edition one that I had, and I had cut them holes in it when I first got that Mulholland one okay. and put them in. Oh, okay. So they were one Okay, so I, before, okay, so the one I saw up north? They came off originally. Okay, so that one there that now has the different, uh. Has a louver. Has the louvers in there now. Okay. Oh wow, even on the mirror. Yeah. Very nice. So now I'm looking here really closely on the on the hood. I'm seeing kind of an outline of some flames on here. Yeah, there are ghost flames in a purple. Okay. Now is that the is that the extent that it's going to be? Or are yes. you going to okay? Because you can. I didn't even see him until I got really up close. The light hits it. Okay. So you're not you're not actually intending to make it any brighter than that. No. Okay. Because I mean, honestly, from this distance, you wouldn't even know they're there. So actually, you have to get pretty close. I'm not even sure if this is going to pick up on the video. It's really small. I mean, it's really light. They're on the side panel, too. The oh, they are? Right. Oh, you're right. Okay. They are there if you look very really carefully. Okay. So, what other areas is he going to do here? Obviously, the mirrors and the... Is there anything else? This is pretty much it, or...? 
I'm gonna do different wheels eventually since they got the typical prowler peel in the back side of the oh, rims. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna go the black torque thrust American racing wheels. Oh, okay. Now is that I mean is that one other prowler owners have done too? I mean you've seen them on others or are you just gonna you just uh, like that particular wheel? Not in the black. They do them in the gloss black I might go with. Okay. His torque thrusts are originally a gray color. Okay. You can get them in gloss black also. Okay. Yeah, that'll actually that'll probably look better against the black car. Yes. To have the to have the common color there. Now, it's, so it's gonna be a flat black as well. You're the saying, rims, right? I'll go with the gloss black. Oh, the gloss black on yeah. that. Okay. As of now, that's my thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. So I could see this one would have a harder time at your place up north, all the dirt road, the long right. dirt, the long dirt road you gotta take to get to your place. This, yep. The, yeah, a lot of ropes, the, rocks, yeah, rocks, the rocks would be there. just throwing everywhere. And you don't want to drive it in a rainstorm. Uh, yeah, the, well, that's true because all the mud will splash up on you. Uh -huh. Hence, hence the term. Those have the huge rooster tails going down the road. Oh yeah, oh in the, the back, the empires, especially, yes. especially in back, the back, front, everything. Yeah. Okay. So obviously these are replaced tires, but they're still the uh, obviously still the stock wheels. But these are the ones that are going to change out. I, I know what you mean about the. About the, the peeling, it hasn't really happened too bad on mine yet. You know, the big thing that bugged me on mine is that I, I went and had the, uh, I had them take the TPMs out and put new ones in and see if I can get them working. Unfortunately, they're not working. Oh, okay. But but the problem is though is that when they did that, when they took the old TPM out, which is almost three times bigger than the new one, that changed the weight, and so they had to do, they had to rebalance somewhere. the tires. And well, guess what? They put new weights on the inside of the barrel. Uh -huh. Well, guess what? They tore out the old ones, put the new ones in. And took the chrome with it? And took some of the chrome with it. And so it looks scrap. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm kind of, I'm not happy about it, but at the same time, you had to expect I was going to, you know, you don't want the wheels to be out of balance either, but unfortunately, they didn't do a great job at that. But I mean, this is, it was discount tire and they're not going to, you know, it, it, they're, they're, I'm sure the vast majority of cars they do, nobody would care. Yeah, you know, on the my other of the car, like. the rims are still in good shape. Okay. How's yours, Rudy? Your wheels peeling? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah, my other car's got 120,000 on it. They're not peeling. This car only had 20,000 on it, and they're peeling. Yeah, I've only got about 11,000 on mine. So I heard you got a silver one? Woodward. I've oh, you have, a Woodward. Oh, Woodward. Oh, okay. I thought you had, sorry, I thought you had a silver one. No, no. Woodward. Truck. Okay. Well that makes sense. Well that makes sense. You'll have one that you did. One fifty one of hundred and fifty built. Yeah. You had number one fifty? One fifty one. Oh you're the last one. Okay. I could have had the first one. No. But you fell in love with it and I was in charge of numbering them. I could have kept number one for myself. Oh, okay. But the better story is I got one fifty one of hundred and fifty built. Okay, so you do actually do a little bit of something there to guide yourself in some well, places. It just gives me a visual of where I'm or headed. centering location. Okay. Imagine in that panel. Just giving me a, a visual idea. Okay. Yeah, I saw you had some tape up on this one here earlier. But just I'm, give them the center just location. Just to kind of give them where yeah, the center location. Kind of, yeah, it gives yeah. me an idea of center. Okay. Yeah, and another project, like you heard me talking about getting them wheels. I was going to get the red line cut into these tires, but you probably could run a pinstripe around the black wheel then of the rim. What would you think of that look? On that? On this car, yeah, but I got It'll solid. never hold. Oh, paint won't hold on it? Never. Then. Okay, then never. I ain't getting it. It's a waste of time. Okay. Yeah. If they were powder coated, maybe. And that's only maybe if they were powder coated. If they, they hold up good powder. Uh huh. Paint holds up good on powder. It doesn't hold up good on chrome at all. Oh, you know, not on these. It'll be the black ones that American Racing Wheels make. If it's powder it's the coated, it, the paint will hold up. Oh, okay. It'll be fine. And but that's what I was saying, just having a red line right around it. Because years ago, they used to cut in uh, red or yellow I lines and tires. Yep, yep. I don't mm -hmm. think they do that anymore. It's hard to find someone, probably, Yep. to do it. Yeah, I can't. I haven't found anybody. Yeah, that's why I figured maybe paint the rim then. So that might be another thing this winter. Come out and do. Yeah. And you're just out. Not too far away. Yeah, I'm in the hood. Yeah. Yeah, for some reason I thought you went took off out of state. No, well, for for winter I go to Florida, but So how long were you doing this before you uh started doing the prowlers? Oh, probably thirty five years. Wow. 
They came looking for me. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you didn't have to apply for the job? No, but at that point in time, I'd already been doing cars for the museum. Oh, okay. That was my question to them. Where did you get my, my number, my name? Well, we called around to a few custom shops and antique stores and blah, blah, blah. Your name kept coming up, so you're it. But at that point, I, I'd asked him, I says, uh, do you know who does all the stuff for the museum? Well, no. <laughs> And at that point, I'd been doing a lot of cars for the museum. Now, when you say the museum, are you talking about... The Chrysler Museum. The, the old, okay. Yeah. In its yeah. old location. In Auburn Hills, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Now, I heard that they're going to reopen it in the counter plant. There's been time. I heard that, too. Yeah. Yeah. I, at least that's... They what, should do something. I've heard that... I'm, actually, I've heard that many of the cars have already been moved there. Um, it's just I, not open yet. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, Tony Gertz, who runs the Prowler Owner Association mm -hmm. online, he actually is in contact with somebody who said that at some point that it's not open to the public, but they could set up something to, set up, to something. set up something for us to come in and see it. Oh, yeah. You know, like a private showing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. Obviously, after COVID and all that is over with, they'll consider Oh, yeah. It's going to be a while for that. Yeah. And so they won't even consider it until that's over. But said after that, we might be able to do it. Okay, so while I'm in here, I gotta take a look at your van. People are gonna see this van and just like, what the hell is this? <laughs> An upside down van. Yeah, the upside down van. So people see this and say, okay, well, why is your van sitting upside down? Well, there's actually wheels yeah. down at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Drive train. Oh yeah, so here's actually this is the engine. Now, which engine was this? This it's is a obviously a Cavalier four cylinder. It's a Cavalier four cylinder. Okay. So obviously your old engine is, you know, which would have been up, there, which would have been up there. You can actually see the the old firewall and everything up in there. Yeah, the whole thing drives backwards. So pretty amazing. This is this is fun to watch. Anybody that sees this on Woodward. Yep, wheels actually move while the engine's running. <laughs> Pretty cool. That's an 85 GMC rally van. Yeah. <laughs> so what gave you the idea to do this thing? Medical oh, yeah. brownies. Medical brownies? <laughs> <laughs> Eat too many of them. Get you all wiped out. Come up with crazy ideas. Okay. So you wrote it down while you were still in that state, I hope, and said, so, because later on you'd probably be thinking, what the hell was I thinking? Why would I do it? Where did I put that note I wrote down? <laughs> things to do. How many people helped you do it? I mean, is this all your work or did you get... No, actually, I just wrote the check to buy it. The, what, the van? Yeah. Well, the van itself, but I mean, who did all the retrofit here to do that? That was done by a guy out in uh, St. John's, Michigan. Okay, he did the work? Yeah, did all the flipping over of it, building okay. the chassis underneath it. Okay. And did he ever do something like this before? Not with the van. He's done a lot of trucks oh. and that. Not oh, okay. flipping over, but he's always customized cars. Oh, okay. Hobby. Okay. So as far as you know, you're the first one who's ever actually done this. Yes. Okay. You he's should... got his own Facebook page, the oh. Upside Down Van. You can go to to okay. see what shows I might be at or gatherings and that. Okay. Usually, mostly everything's in the Detroit area I mm -hmm. go to. Okay. So yeah. So after you're saying maybe we could take it out after you're done here. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I don't want to rush this job. No, I want to make sure this is... I notice your top has a couple holes in it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, get some jean patches to put over them. So again, it's like old school. Oh, or... so you're just going to let it go ahead and just put those on and leave it that way. Yeah, maybe I'll poke some more holes in it so I can put more patches <laughs> To make it look it. more authentic, huh? Yes. Be a skate patch. Yeah, okay. I don't know about your... Now, I'm noticing that the you got the white stitching on your top. I don't have that on mine like that. The stitching is really obvious on here. The white stitching. I don't yeah, think mine. Yours is after market or. No, I don't think mine. I mean, I don't remember seeing the mine. It's not that way. Yeah, I don't. White. Yeah, I don't. Mine doesn't have the. I'm pretty mine's sure it's not like that. My yeah, top's down. Might have been an aftermarket top. Yeah, there. my yeah. top's down at the moment, so I can't check. But I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've looked at it enough times. Believe me, I would remember that there was a white stitching on there. So, is that? So that wasn't factory then, probably. Maybe yeah, somebody. Maybe somebody put. Maybe somebody redid this top for you. Yeah. At some point. 
You want me to get a shot of your t-shirt so people get your phone number? <laughs> I'm sorry? You want to get a shot of your t-shirt so people get your phone number when I put it on the video? There you Advertising. go. Advertising. There you go. It's time for pour wax, you know, with this stuff on. Don't matter really. Well, like I'm gonna I was going to say, why would, why, would you, why would you wax a flat black Yeah, the paint? truck, anyway, you can do the truck. Oh, wax. okay. It's called rat wax. Oh, for flat black? Yep. Oh, they're... Enough. Yeah, it's called rat wax. Oh, okay. So it's that... made just for flat black and suede finishes. No, but it wouldn't make it look any... It's not going to make it shine. That's the whole no, point of wax. No, it's just for but... kids in if you got tar on or bird dropping Oh, so it helps. It's that. just a, a layer of protection on it? Yeah, it's just wax. Okay. You know, it's a, it's a spritzer. Okay. But it's for that, you know, it's for flat black and okay. something like that. It's okay. Yeah, because actually this flat black gets looking dirty pretty quick too, though. Well, you know, black cars are, are horrendous Taurus, for that, yeah. unfortunately. Have you got memorabilia? Uh, you Prowler mean, memorabilia? A little bit. Why, you got some for me? <laughs> I might. <laughs> you might? Okay. Might. Okay. What you got there? You oh, the, yeah. one of these? I don't think I have that one. I think I've seen it before. But I don't, not one with the yellow. In the, the package. Well, that's your car. It is, yeah. Well, that's a 99, I can tell by the gray. Well. But close enough. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, Very nice, thank I you. I was at the Gil, well, <laughs> this isn't free. Oh. I went to the Gilmore Museum. Okay. And the curator there, mm -hmm. come over, because I was at a, a Chrysler show, mm -hmm. only Prowler there, and he comes out and he says, you're in the Prowler stuff. I says, yeah, he says, make a donation to the museum. And I got some Prowler things you might like. Okay. So he had a, a red one. Okay. Which my car's a, a Woodward, so right. it's red and black. Yeah. And he had this one. And okay. I says, well, what do you got to have for them? He says, make me a donation for the for the museum. I said, we 50 bucks by him? He says, yeah. I says, that's I'll a give donation. You that. it. I'll give you that. Well, I, I, I gave him 50 for both of them. If you give me 25, it's yours. Okay. I, I mean, you know, it's just, it was for the museum. Okay. So I had no, another no, no. guy that wanted it, but I haven't... He never contacted me, never called me. Oh, okay. So like, okay, well, thank you. Cool. Well, okay, well, I'll let you hold on to it for now. Yeah, no problem. I'll get you the money for it. No yes, problem. no problem. Oh, well, the van just came out. Huh? I said the van just moving its way out here, so I can get a better look at this. Everybody can... Absolutely wild. Oh, here we go. We got the back open here. No, no. We can actually see the inside here. Oh my god, this is so crazy. <laughs> he had to have these little windows on the side, otherwise he couldn't actually see any where he was going. Okay, I didn't realize you're gonna do red in here too. Okay. Yeah, we gotta have some red. Okay, so here's another little one here. Okay, and, and that's what's, what's it? Oh, coming on down. So actually, so this one obviously is a pedal car, but is that one a pedal car too? Technically? Battery powered, you have a little battery that would sit okay, back but I mean, the seat. But, okay, but it's somebody really small yeah. could fit in here and ride it. But, and, and then they, as they get bigger. Is there actually a, I mean, is there a pedal for them to? No, not in that one. There's no pedal. A pedal to push to move, yes. Like okay, that's what I mean. Like a vehicle or Jeep. That's what I mean. Well, that's what yeah. I mean is that if you have a look, somebody that small to fit in this probably may not be a really good driver. <laughs> so right. I was wondering no, if they actually run can. Into the so car. it's probably a pretty small battery or small uh, motor in that. Yeah, to two to. or three year old on it. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to, can we go inside and take a look at a couple other ones? Yeah. Well, that's mainly how they go up in size. This oh, okay. This one being the smallest. Oh, okay. Guy. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, you're right. That one is really tiny. <laughs> that's the one that's the size of a quarter, right? Yes. Okay. 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 So you have. Okay, you have. I have the same one. Is this oh, a Radio Shack? Old Radio Shack. Yeah, I have the same one. And I painted mine yellow. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I've got the same one, and I painted mine yellow. You did a better job painting yours than I did. I'm not a great painter. 
so it didn't come out as good as I would have liked. Give me something to do in the winter. Yeah. Okay. Now this one looks like because of the headlamps and all, it's supposed to be like the the prototype. No, the old style yeah, because well, yeah, because it's got the headlamps are flush, and uh, bumpers are a little different, and the headrests are different. So this is actually obviously not painted the right color, but the original purple one that was the first one that, that was yes. that was the prototype that they made. Yeah, this is it. Five ninety six. Yep, yeah, this is it. This is the one. So, actually, uh, yeah, but the one little one here, I think, you know, that one might be the same. Well, it's our, oh, this is one of the pole ones. It's got the little pull tab in the back, right? Yes. Because I, that's one of the ones I've got too. If I've got that one, yep, I've got that same one. Yep. That one's still purple. Yep. So they always came purple. And I've got I've got the same ornament back there. Oh, okay. Also, I got that way back when it was first when, came when out. When it first came out, never at the time thought I'd own one. And these all <laughs> the different colors they've made the Hot Wheels style cars in. Okay. Also. Yeah. I just kept one out of every box that I ordered. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, Maisto. Yeah. I, someday I hope I can get a bunch of the yellow ones if there's still any left. You know, yeah. Yeah. Given so many of them way through the years. Oh, I know. I had thousand of them. Yeah. The kids and that once they get in the go kart. Oh, yeah. And then they get out. I'll give them the car. So yeah. There you go. Here's something. To remember. Oh about. yeah. I made that shine. So I got that at auction. I think. Oh okay. Well, that's cool. Is that supposed to be like? Oh, so it's a wind chime. Yeah. Okay. And then one other thing I forgot to show you in the garage. Oh yeah. The clock. Yeah. I'll plug it in next to the clock. Oh okay. Oh, nice. Very cool. And who did that for you? Uh, so I bought it off a guy that worked at Chrysler, and he really? told me there was only one of them there. Yeah, okay. And he made it, handed it to someone that was head of the Prowler team. Okay. Somehow he ended up with it, and it was still in a primer stage when I got it, and then I just painted it flat black to match okay. this one. Okay, wow, cool. So, is your, so you actually, how did you get the name Dr. Rue, by the way? No. Oh. <laughs> How'd that name come up? It was a good story. Okay. Um, I, was work I worked for a Cadillac dealer for years. Okay. They rented me a body shop, or part of the body shop. Okay. I was striping a car for an older guy. Yeah. One day, about five o'clock. And the guy's standing behind me going, son of a bitch, god damn. Just carrying on. Mm -hmm. And I said, excuse me, is there a problem? He says, uh, son, he says, I'm a surgeon. I cut people every day. You should have been a doctor. He says, you should have been a oh, because Oh, because of because He says, of your hand is so steady. He says, uh, well, I've I says, well... Quite frankly, I says there's no malpractice in what I do, and I can re erase my mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so in, the mean, in the meantime, all the guys are getting ready to punch out. Yeah. Up until that time, I was just Rudy. Okay. Well, the guys are all punching out. They all know me. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, the next day, we're having coffee, and they said, we're going to start calling you Doc. That guy last night was just crazy about what you were doing, and he was a surgeon. Yeah. So Well, you're almost like a surgeon. So the, with... so, so the guys at the body shop... Finally, just kept calling me Doctor Rue, and yeah, I said, well, it, it, that's it just it, so. it just stuck, huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stuck. So uh, how long pretty... was that? 20, 30 years? Oh God, that's been uh, oh easy, almost forty years now. Wow. Okay. Probably almost forty years. Wow. Okay. Because I was I had I was at that shop for thirty six, but doing paint and custom work, or but it would have to be thirty six years, or, or right in that thirty five because he rented me the building. I was striping cars for him, but I had my own shop in Redford, and I was doing their cars, and then when their uh, little shop became available, it was a separate building on the property. They rented me that building. The owner said, uh, Tom Dreisbach at the time, he said, do you want to rent that little building I got? And I said, yeah, sure, that'd be great, because I was there every day doing cars for him. So that was early on. So it'd probably have to be at least 35 years ago. Wow. In the late 80s or something. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. well then I won't ask how old you are now. <laughs> That's 72. Oh, you didn't have to tell me. 72. Wow. Well, this is amazing work you got here, Rudy. I'm so glad Thanks. I got a chance to meet you. So. Thanks, man. Thanks again, and thank you again for uh, for this. This is great. I got the money for you. So thank you, Rue. You're welcome, Rudy, sir. Rudy, thank you very much. You have a great thank day. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks. And we'll Be see safe. You. Okay, thank you.